previously on... You know what, you already know this drill, here's what happened last time. Oh, the escape pod, something attacked the vessel. Dark Bramble, but one of the escape pods still inside. I am thinking I am missing a component here, I am missing something. I'm thinking I was on... I had the right idea. Uh, that I have to teleport in there somehow. I'm gonna have to give up on the Black Forge for now. You are the Phantom Moon. So it sort of feels like they may have built some stable things with the Ash Twin project and everything. And then the second generation sort of started to mess things up. Is that the moral of the story? Kids are the problem? This game just keeps, keep, keeps, keep. What am I trying to say? It keeps ki <laughs> ah, It keeps tickling me. I wish someone was here to high five me right now, feeling so good about myself. Blink blink. Let's go. So um, there's um four things that I would want to do. I don't think I'm gonna have time to do it all in this Well, first of all, all in this round, but secondly, all in this episode, because so, I want to... Uh, let's see here. I want to go this to here. Uh, I want to get the anglerfish, go shoot the anglerfish fossil, get into the room, through, uh, get in there through the stepping stone district. And then I also want to try to get to the high energy lab. That's, that's two things. And then I want to go through uh, the ruins that we saw while we were mis uh, visiting Shirt. Um, here we saw the ruins that I never entered. And then I want to look closer at this little bugger. Because I figured we were landing on one side, right? And there was this wah 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 shooting us out. So on the other side, there might be a wah 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 shooting us in. So that's what I want to do. But we're gonna start with the Sunless City. Um, I'm not exactly sure why I am holding off on exploring that. Maybe it's because it was like the first big thing that I, I noticed. Oh, but another thing. Another thing. Another thing I noticed. Or, well, let's take it another time because I have this idea. Oh no, I remember a fifth thing I want to do. I want to go into this cannon again. Um, hmm. In what way do we do this? Now see, there's his one. So let's go here. I, how, how long did that take me? Like, how, how long? How long before I was distracted again? I can't believe this. I had a good plan and I'm like, oh, other stuff. Let's just get up. Um... This flashlight should just be on all the time, right away. Ah, uh, he just landed here to get the overview, maybe? Yeah, I don't mind. We can do it this way. We can do it this way around. So he's standing over there, which means that this... Yeah. There it is. Oh, Lord. Oh. So... Yeah. Oh. Well, let's just go in here. It's nothing. No. Yeah. This have, might have just been the other way of going in here to the Sunless City, I think. And that's what I wanted to find out. If this. Another cake, uh, another shard? Ah, uh, yeah. <gasps> oh, it wasn't. Oh, I'm sort of glad actually. Oh my gosh. Kaleas is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave. The one at the bottom of the. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, calm down. He vanished from the lake bed cave. The one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole several days ago and we're unable to find any trace of him. Did he get like stuck in a stone? <laughs> he got teleported away to the quantum moon. Um, I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. I beg any friends reading this help us. Oh, that's not good. No, hello? Yeah. 
This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here? My sed sedimentary friend. I'm sorry. This is my Swedish to kicking in. If I would read this, we should be sedimentary. <laughs> Not really. Let's. But that was funny. I like that. I'm keeping. I'm keeping it in. Um, because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. I would want to talk to rocks like that. So respectful. Wasn't this the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed? Yeah. So maybe he climbed. The Should we try to climb the rock? Ooh. We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. Mm. Shit. I mean, I didn't say any bad words, but eh, we found more things to do. Uh, an update. Mallory and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. This is a reoccurring theme throughout. Um, that means that this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Do we have anything hidden? ship log updated but so if i do this are you back you are my are you the same shape as before are you so if i don't look at you nah so if i'm near you you don't disappear hmm. okay even if i don't look at you like that no <gasps> ow Stupid cactuses, stop hugging me. Okay, that's cool. Um, That's nice. I don't... Oh. <laughs> Spiky death. I don't... Hmm. What was this then? Ah. Huh? Wait. I have no idea where I am. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Let's explore. Whee! Hmm? Is that the cannon? Good. We can go check that out as well. Because I was thinking that if I launch it... A little earlier, ow, a little earlier, maybe the sun won't get in my way. Wait, what was this? Oh, right. My nemesis. Okay, so... Also, those stones are... These that we are moving here, they're being consciously moved by our input as well. So, did they learn more from this? Those stones? Then maybe we understand. Yeah, it's only one skelly. So this person that they decided to stay. Well, obviously, since I recalled the ship. Are we now just in random ass space or huh. Yeah. Maybe. Like What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. What are you? What are you? Oh, you're a little black hole. Oh, that's so cute. Now they come in convenient tetra packs. Oh, hello. You're the one we want to land on. Oh, wait, is this a how I get to it? Look at that. Are we drifting or do we have a destination? No, I'm not sure. But look at that. I'm not sure what those controls does. Or if they do anything at all, maybe I'm just like delusional. It is frozen after all and I'm not even wearing the proper attire. 
Hmm. No, we're just drifting around, huh? Doesn't do anything when I do that, right? No. We're just like, well, mom, no hands. Um, no. I guess we're just going back. That's sad. I wanted it to go somewhere, but I guess it's frozen and frozen and broken, huh? Okay. Well, how do I get out of here now? Huh. Hmm. At least that's going forward. Wait. Why is the sun already... ...so red? Hmm. Interesting. I burned. Well, I guess we examined that. I'm thinking in what order I should do these things because I already had. I uh, didn't want to do that. Because we've already. We've already discovered Sunless City, so I sort of want to wrap that up and get some of those question marks out of the way. So I think I will- yeah, I can see the plug. Like, there's a little plug on both sides of Ash Twin. But I don't want to... Or do I? Oh my god. Will I go against myself again? No. No! I can be good. I can be good. I can be good if I want to. If you have watched my um, playthrough of Beyond Good and Evil, there's this one um part where one of the characters characters there is just like uh he invented jet boots that is powered by like squeezing your butt and then he shoots up and he goes chili con carne and I, I every single time i'm going around to this game i'm just like okay okay i have to jump chili con carne <laughs> and it tickles me and i think it's funny and then we're here, we're gonna go right here, right away, and feed the fish. Feed the fish. Good. And then we're going to go here. I think I need to go and turn on the lights. It's a, it's a little dark. So on with you, on with you, and you're down there, so let's go down here. Is there anything down down? I wonder. Okay. Now let's see if we can find it now that we have Scout showing the way. It's right there, right? Is it? Stepping stones, indeed. Oh, mm, panic. Well, I'm definitely chili concarning this shit. Sorry, I didn't curse. Okay, so... So it is somewhere. Is it over there? No. It is small. Oh! There, I'm silly. Obviously, I have a locator on it as well. Well, okay. Three minutes of oxygen. That's not good. Where is Scout? Up there. Okay. 
I'm fine. Don't panic. How do I get up there? Oh shit, okay, I'm panicking a bit. Nope, that wasn't something to step on. I don't think I can just blast up, can I? 50% fuel, no air. Can I? I could. I did it, but I don't have fuel air left. I'm gonna die. Um, whoever was, whoever was, whoever was it when we ended last time in the anglerfish? Rule change. The anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneaks across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Oh, so it's like under the wings of the chicken game. I don't know if you guys have that, but in Sweden you have under the, like, maybe it's under the hawk wings or something in other countries, but you have like, you have to run from one side of the room to the other uh, and not get caught. The last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. Okay, so you want to be the anglerfish in this game, I guess. Uh, the old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish to blindfold and become a little fish. Ah, okay. Why are we changing it? It's so hard if you can't see anything. And Pai says, real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. Well, there's a bomb. Bu -bu oh my god! Is that the kids? Are those the kids? No, okay. No. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, so if I have that... And I retrieve you. Do we see anything? Hmm. I guess that's not... Yeah, I know. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know why I'm feeling a little stressed today. It feels like I... All day. And yesterday too. It felt like I have an appointment. And you know when you're just sitting and like buffering throughout the day. And waiting for this made up appointment in your head. <laughs> I need to look at this. Wait, really? We... Oh my god. Okay, so... The Namai notice a strange wandering rock that appears in multiple caves on Ember Twin's northern hemisphere. Uh, I found a strange rock shard that moves when I'm not watching. It emits a signal on the quantum fl fluctuation frequency. Yeah. The wandering rock was first spotted in a cave at the bottom of a dry, a dry lake bed on Ember Twin's North Pole. A mine named Coleus mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the Ember Twin North Pole. Hmm. I should have known this would get more questions. Okay, look at that. Look, look at that. It's not a question, my. That's where we were. Why did he have to include the skeletons? That's so sad. Now, my children used to play a game here. One player was the anglerfish and wore a blindfold. The rest of the children, the little fish, lined up against one wall. When the anglerfish said go, the little fish had to sneak across. Little fish had to sneak across to the other side. The blindfold rule was added because a real anglerfish are blind. So I guess that's the sort of thing that they were talking about before. So here's an idea or something I... I started thinking about. Why are the skeletons everywhere? It's a bit like Pompeii, isn't it? Why would the skeletons be there? As if none of them were prepared for what's happening. None of them. I thought I heard something. I had to take off my headphones. Um, so they are just there. It's almost like it just happened suddenly, right? Even the kids. Even in this uh, other... Um, I was gonna say the boat thing. But do you know what I mean? Like... Why was that a thing? That's sort of something that I would want to know. It doesn't seem like they were prepared for it, you know? 
Now there's you, there's the cannon, there's that thing. Where's Shert? Because Shert was at the... North Pole, right? Yeah, there you are. And look at that inside. I wonder if that's anything I... to... Oh no! Where is Shert? So he is here. Is that the dried lake pads? Yeah, there's a stairs. Bonk. Suit on. Get out. Oh, there is. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let me go! There was. Where did I see the stairs? Yeah, I understand. There's a. There you are. It's not unknown. We've been there. 243. Where did we see. We saw a stairs. I know we saw stairs. I don't want to walk into Wawa. Not where I want to go right now. Where did we see the stairs? Well, we're going down. There. We will explore. This is the dried lake bed, I'm guessing. I mean, I am guess I'm wildly assuming. Well, that's the distress. Nothing on the quantum frequency yet there? No. What is going on here? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down! That is going really fast. Am I supposed to know where I'm going? Hmm. Ice in stomach. We can do this. Hmm. Darn. Wish I could smash those. Um. There's the cave shard. Uh, to go up. Yeah? No, this is like a freaking waterfall. Alright. Wait a bit. No. Come on! Oh god! No! 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 Damn! I need to get... Oh, I'm leaning away from the microphone. Sorry if the audio was bad there. Oh, okay. We're on here. We're on here. You can't take me. You can't take me. You can't take me. Demons. No! Why is it taking so much? Ugh, darn. Okay. This feels like Tomb Raider. Where's the... Yes, I understand. Did it just stop now? It's there. Ugh. No, no, don't, don't! Mm. Huh? 
did that happen? Please, 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 please. Oh, okay, I got here. Oh, that's not good. Ah, darn. I have no idea where I am now. But also, you're down there. I really... Oh. Now I'm sad. I wasn't sad before, now I'm sad. That's how that works? That's how that works? It's near the stone, so everything is just moving? Ah, oh, I wish I'd known that a little while ago. Very cool. I freaking love that. I absolutely freaking love that. Air, 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 please. Oh. Sorry, but you little bee. Oh my god, that was the freaking coolest thing ever. Malori, if you if come here to look for Coleus, Col uh, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining different rocks. I recall Kaleas standing on the large one, the wandering rock. I was taking notes and then my lantern died. When I lit it again, Kaleas and the rock were both gone. Oh, oh my god. Uh, your, uh, ma, your strange wandering rock friend is here, though Kaleas isn't. Why are you looking at me with those eyes, girl? Okay, Kaleas and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several small rocks in at least two other cav caverns. I'm sure this is relevant. Okay, so you are your lantern turned off. How do I turn off the lanterns here? I can't. Turn off. Come on. Turn off. Okay, so no, shoot. Okay, so if I do this instead. Yeah. Now, where is Scout? He is. 150. 100. What? So one cave is over there. I'm not sure I can get it there now, even. I don't have enough fuel or anything. There's no fuel here. Oh, I'm s I'm so... Wait, what? Oh, 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 no! Oh my god! Can I travel with it? Just when things were getting super duper exciting... Yeah, they turned off the lights. Oh my god, you guys ready? We are. In another cave. How curious, this rock took me- Oh, it's Coleus! Took me with it to a new location. I wonder why- Why this happened. Because you turned off the light. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I seen so delight to see a sedimentary species. Yeah, I, no wonder. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. Is this how they got to the moon? 
This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observe, observing my surrounding, meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Mallory is here now too. We theorized when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and sees to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with the quantum object and they can move together. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised me... Can you hear that? My rabbit is running around in the background. <laughs> Um, he has also promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. here that that is amazing that is amazing guys I'm a little like lost for words Hi, world! No, I don't think it's... Wait. Wasn't I there for a really long time? This is another. Did I not read this one? I am a little, like... Lost for words. That was amazing. Also, why is the gravity lower? Um, isn't this exactly what we read? Oh no, let's let's read this. Friends, if you have any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me and vanish without a trace during a trip and he's been missing since. Some of us from the Sunless Cities are here to help search for Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Bert. Bert. <laughs> Coles and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Coles lost? Malaria. 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 Uh, Malaria. Right. Oh God. He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant and without warning. I turned away from Coleus to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air, and Noah. I'm afraid for him. Sorry, apologize. Hypothesis, we will learn more and more by examining the northern lake bed cave where Coleus disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have no time to squander. Yeah. So we can. Well, where did this go? We can stand on top of those, and as long as we don't... Wait, what? As long as we don't observe it... It will teleport. Sorry, had to correct the microphone. Interesting. Curious. Ux using oxygen. Dude. Because of what I want to examine anyway, this cycle is now too long gone. But so here is what I was thinking that I wanted to say earlier. This planet that I called the Dumbbell Planets. 
It's a time glass, right? One of those hourglass? See what I mean? I'm gonna get sucked into the sun probably, but... But look at that. It's sand from one side to the other. And this core that we see in the middle now... ...of Ash Twin... ...is where the Ash Twin project is and got sealed away. And so, by the time all of the sand leaves the Ash Twin... ...is when the cycle will end. And I'm wondering if that is somehow related to... ...related to any of this. Do you see what I mean? Look at this now. That is beautiful. And you're seeing more and more of this... ...Ash Twin... ...project. And the sand is running out, huh? Look, no more sand. Hmm. Yeah. And when the sand ran out... We're getting the final music. So it is an hourglass. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Front view seats. Look at you, you gorgeous little piece of planet, hey! Oh, pretty. Hmm. Cool. So, now, do we know any... We don't. We don't know any placement of any quantum stones that will teleport to the moon, as far as we know now. Mm. But let's see here. Yes, that's the one. When the mine named Coleus was standing on the wandering rock when another Nomai lantern died. When they relit the lantern, Coleus and the rock were both gone. To travel with quantum objects, I must stand on the object and cease to observe my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. Coleus used this quantum rule to escape the cave he was trapped in. Coleus and Malor Malorai Rea, Re Rea, gosh, returned to examine the rock. They theorized that when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and cease to observe his or her surroundings, the being can become entangled with that quantum object and they both move together. That is a very interesting piece of information indeed. But also this quantum object still seems to be moved by its own accord, so we're still bound by wherever that being wants to go. Meaning that we have to find a rock that will go to the moon if we want to land or go to it, I guess. Since that in and of itself is a conscious creature, I am assuming that, I mean, if we were to actually set our foot on it, or set our foot on something that would in actuality become part of it, then it won't disappear if we would st physically step on the rest of the, the rock. Do you, do you, you know what I mean? You understand what I'm saying? If we become part of something that is indeed entangled with the moon, we can step on the moon. Okay, so there's the there's the thing. Wait, what was I wanted to do here? This is not where I wanted to go. Where's the other one? Where's your friend? Okay, so I don't know which Polish side it was, I mean, which side it was, so we'll just try one, and if this one is wrong, we'll hop on over to the other side. No. No, I'm not sure. 
Where did I want to go? Hmm. That might be a problem. Get away from you. Meaning that you need to be somewhere this thing doesn't affect you. Hehehe. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, now... Are you already difficult to get to? No, that's the out. No, that one is also going up, sis. Hmm. Yeah. Also up, sis. Wah, 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 wah. How long would I have to stay here, though, to discover anything about this planet? Let's check you out. Ugh. Imagine how hot it will be here. Look at you. Look at you, look at you, look at you. Hmm. I guess this is where I could observe it, but I feel like I'd need to go still inside, because... If I'm theorizing correctly... This... Oh, look at that. It's a twig, ain't it? Uh, if I'm theorizing correctly about this, this could be the central point for a lot of communications around the universe. I'm just a little like, hmm, they sealed it off. What do we do about that, though? You know? Well, let's get to examining, first of all. Because... That's a wah-wah out. The other side was also a wawa out. Do we have anything else here? That could be of interest. There's a sun station thing. Are we- or should we be able to land on the sun station? I don't feel like we should be able to land on it. I want to, but maybe we can teleport there somehow. Not physically land on it, you know? There's that thing. Ooh. Not into you. Oh, there, there's something. Stop, 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 stop. Go down, go down, go down. Up, 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 up! <clears throat> I am not having a good day. Okay. You're fine. Stop complaining. Uh, okay. Can I not go up on this, or...? Yeah, I can. Alright, so... <laughs> this is a Wawa! Really? I don't like you, Cactus. Oh. So this is where we want the opposite effect. We want you to disappear from here, silly sand. Hello, Lantern. I've learned that you're a lamp. Ooh, exciting! So this is t timed on the other way around, so half of the time would have been on the other planet, I guess. And you are... scroll place? Did we have a... freaking cactus. Do we have a scroll? No. Do you... <gasps> it's a... It's a maybe a dead teleport. What? It's a full ass freaking person. And here too. Hmm. De oh dear lord, what am I doing? Okay, we're fine. Ha <laughs> ha. Word for a second. And why are you just straight up dead? I'm telling you, it feels like there was a sudden event. Something happened just suddenly. Well, there's a scroll. Thank you. I'm sorry. I, in fact, want to examine you a bit, but I guess not. Ugh. <sighs> Friends visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ash Twin project at the High Frequency Lab 
High energy left. High freaks. High energy lab on Amber Twin Equator. Yeah, we didn't go there either. Eee! I became lost on Ember Twin. My gratitude that Rami found me. But the high energy lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like telling me where to find it, I guess. Because I, I also missed it. I imagine our uh, otherwise immensely clever Connor Connoy would lo lose his own head. What am I? Why am I stumbling? Lose his own head if it weren't anatomically imp anatomically impossible. Really? Hmm. Yeah. All right. I wonder if there was anything else. Anything else? Yeah. What? That was it. That was the top of this, okay? Isn't this where the sand will go eventually? Now things are... Oh, will I make it? Oh, it's broken. You know what? That's not good. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, wow. I... I That is so funny! Okay. I guess, I guess we're here now. <laughs> I wouldn't want one of those black hole for teleporting is now. Okay, so as we know that the um, question mark disappeared on the angler fish, I don't think I need to go back there to do anything right now. What I want to do, get to the sunless city and go to the energy lab, right? That's where I feel like we have stuff left to do. Yeah, the towers. Yeah, there's more to explore. Yeah, for sure. I got flushed away by the sand. Um, so there's that. Um, and, um, and also, obviously, Sunless City have more more to explore. Um, but the anglerfish is marked as complete. So I don't need to worry about that. We also have... This was one of the... Never made it out. Yeah. We can't do much about that just yet. Then we have sun, the sun station. Mm, that we're probably going to learn more from at the energy lab or something. The Astrium project was planned at the high energy lab. A building with large solar plant pan panels on the Amber Twin Equator. Yeah, we were, we were, we saw it from the outside. So, hmm... More to explore. Yeah. Um, is it more to explore in the actual sh shuttle? On the shuttle, really? Maybe it's just if we get to this um, interloper. But so I don't need to go back to Sunless City for the angler fish. And oh, wait, I'm gonna put on the suit because I'm forgetful. Um, so that's good. So we have, we have still a heck a lot to do, um, but so we have, oh look, there's the quantum moon on top of that. No, I want to go to the Ash Twin. Um, because we can still go back to Sunless City and try to get to the energy lab. Um, so that's one option, but I sort of want to... I'm, I don't know why I'm avoiding Sunless City. I don't know. Don't don't come for me. But I really want to look into those towers. Ugh. You know what? Why am I? Why am I doing this? Just... Okay, so let's go to Sunless City. And... 
see if we can get into the high energy lab because that's gonna unlock a whole new section. And I think that's why I'm sort of holding it off a little bit. But let's let's go. It's all about getting outside of your comfort zone, right? That's why I even started a YouTube channel. So in the spirit of trying new things, <laughs> go against the grain. Be brave. Oh. I don't even need to read the instructions anymore. I know exactly where I'm going. <laughs> um, right. Through there. Over here. The one jump I don't really like. Yeah. Did it. No problem. So this time we just want to go to high energy lab. No. Was there anything up there? I don't... Oh, it was just... Never mind. We're fine then. I feel... I'm feeling fine with that. What was this? I shrine district. We didn't look into that either, I think. Yeah, because we probably couldn't, right? Wait, was that the... Um... It wasn't. Where is this? Where the... Ooh! Was there something down there? Yes, I guess so. Uh... Did not mean for this to happen. Oh my gosh. How did I survive that? We don't know. This is why we also believe in teleporting with huge stones and quantum stuff. Uh, yes, that's what I want. So how did they manage to keep all the sand out from this before? I guess I'm following the cable. Wah, 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 wah. This is cool. Whoa. Uh, ha Can I even? No. How? You tricked me. Do I have to wait, maybe? Hmm. I don't like that. Are we going up? <laughs> I thought I was ahead of the curve, uh, avoiding the sand. Now I have to... Now it have to help me? <laughs> also, can those stupid cactuses just go away? Come on, let me go. Okay, now. Hold it, patch it, go. Go, go, go. Okay, we still have... Still have time. Dude! You little a-hole. Sorry. No! God, you sucked! You scared the heck out of me. I thought I was gonna suffocate by sand. No. Oh, can I please, please? Okay, it's something. It is something. It would be so cool if I, I wasn't stressed for time and sand, you know? Okay, I guess that's where we're going, huh? Wawa me! Yes! <laughs> I wawa'd, guys. 
And there's air in here. That is great. Look, they were just having supper, you know? Look, look at all those takeaway boxes. They were just having food. And then this happened. Huh? Alright. Oh my god. Okay, there's a scroll. There's so much to do here. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hole station. Remy and I are um, devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine, mel machine error. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will f um, first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup of the white hole station. Hypothesis, it is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering a black hole and exiting a white hole at its destination. Now let's read you. An update, our experiment here uh, reproduced the anomaly in arriving in the parting in the in arriving and the parting um, la, 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 arrival and departure times. But Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eye. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I more energy. More, I'm sorry. Uh, I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Rami and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. I saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This was, This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for an for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Interesting. Of note, uh, Rami, Yaro requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. <laughs> uh, it's good to inform people. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. Literally. Oh, we took the power from the Sunless City now, and uh, did it that way. Okay, there's more. Oh my! I'm trying really hard now to get super hyped. The Southern, Obser Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 20... Wait. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. Have something arrive 22 minutes before. We've learned the negative interval of time between departing and arriving can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Rem and I believe it would be necessary to in uh, invent a new method of producing energy. A thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas, Pi! My pun was unintended, Rami. So I believe it's you who are your okay. gas. <laughs> ha ha ha. Hmm. A 22 minutes before you leave, you arrive? Hmm. 
Tash Twin Project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically, to build. Uh, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location. We need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project, project materials. No! What if we use warp towers? Like the one we have at the White Hall Station to connect Ash Twin directly to critical locations. Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. Each twa tower on Ash Twin will warp. Each tower. Pokey, Pokey Root and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. My gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. <laughs> I believe this has been sufficient clarification. Kindly stop reminding me. I <laughs> love that. We can, it's like the moon, it's a planet. Uh, we can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. Oh, I see we have a creative soul in the bunch. Oh my god. The giant steep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone. And we could model the timber hearth after a geyser mountain. Oh my god! So... This is where we were. Wait! So... What? But I I missed something down. Now what is this? No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Oh yeah! He is in fact arriving earlier. Will it make a difference if I... I don't think it, that makes a... No, come back. Mm. Duplicate signals. Wait, so when we shot it into the seeds and we saw our friend, we also had a duplicate signal because it existed in two places at the same time. Ah. Uh, so... Is that... I wonder if that's related. Because they got... Yeah... Still need to remain close? I don't think so! Is there anything else I could do here? No more to read. Yeah. So. They had all those signs. So that's a cyclone. That's the deep down dark. Is this the geyser? Huh. Is that the sun station? I love that they have arrows, so I know exactly where I'm going. Um, now my ship is really far away and I don't think I will have time... ...to do what I wanted to. I am full of questions here. First of all, why do they want a 22 minute interval? Why... Why that number? You know? Why... Why is that a thing? But then... Also... 
so this teleports, but how do I get inside in a reasonable... Yeah, look at that. How would I even get inside in time? Oh my, no! Ah. How would I? Stop it. Get help. Leave me alone. Oh my word. This is just going out, right? Yeah. But so this one is broken? It surely looks like it and it doesn't seem to be anything I can read in here, but... So I would only be able to reach this. I wouldn't be able to reach here in time because the sand needs to exit before I could even get inside. Hmm. You know? So... Uh, I guess this is to get to some station. To get to the black core. And possibly to get to deep dark... Blue dark down. Do blue dark dark down. Um, Giant's deep. You can't get me, I have a trusty bridge. Poop on you and your transport abilities. Okay, thanks, bye. Um, tell me you work. I knew it. I knew it would be at least one of you, y'all. That wouldn't be working. Whoops. I don't think now is a good time. How the... Hmm. So one of those towers is a door broken. Hmm? Maybe if I go from the other side. Hmm. Bad looking cool. <laughs> My ship's like, hi! Hi over yonder. The worst part is that I have to stop playing soon. I know I took a. I had to go and open the door because our ventilation system wasn't really working very well, and so this guy had to come in and have a chat. And so I know there's like 10 minutes in the middle. That I'll just cut out without question. Okay. But I have to quit soon. Oh. So you is to... What? Could I not? Thanks. Too close. Here's our first delivery, Yarrow. One warp core. Oh, fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is, in, Root is installing this course sibling on Brittle Hollow as I'm writing this. Mm -hmm. I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the, for, but the forge and my unfinished work there is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ash Twin project is underway. I confess, I'm deeply curious about what you and Poku found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit sometimes to learn more? I recommend you to. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin project. So a visit to the station could be, uh, would be doubly useful. I suppose, more precisely, I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you. Oh, Yarrow, stop using the skull wall to flirt with my sister in romantic matters. Her, her, her density rivals a neuron star. 
Okay. And go meet her at Whitehall Station. Sure, I'd be happy to explain our findings. Cool. But is this active? Where are we going? Will we have time? Also, pew! You live there now. Are we going anywhere anytime soon? I feel like the sun will plude. Here comes the sun, probably. Oh my god, it's gonna plude. Okay. Ah! Where? Who? Oh wow, so wait, no, no, please, no, 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 no! Hmm. I don't even know where to begin to express my annoyance right now. That was frustrating. That was frustrating. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. That was infuriating. I finally got where I wanted to go, and you know what I did? I jumped. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Um, hmm. The interloper isn't even close enough. We can't even do that, because I figured if he's close enough, we could do that. But, you know, look at that. Look at that red sun. Very pretty. Ah, oh, no. But then, so I would still have to... Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, think, 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 think. Think, think, think. Uh, so I would have to go to... Brittle Hollow and... Get the station up. I mean, the black hole... Uh, little... You know what I mean. Black hole thing. And then I would have to go to... Ash Twin. And then I could teleport to it. Did I even do the things that I said that I was gonna do? I don't know. I said four things, right? So... We've done a lot, though. I shouldn't feel bad about that. We did a lot. So yeah, we fixed everything with anglerfish. Um, we found out that they are blind, so theoretically you could avoid them. We also found out about those quantum stones. That you can teleport with them if nobody's observing, and that's including lights. Um, so obviously, not all stones, you know? Not all stones. Uh, but we can teleport with some of them. We also discovered, or started to discovering, Ash Twin, right? And so that's the point of teleportation. So Ash Twin Project, I did, we still didn't see those masks, which I'm still a little roll up about. Um, but that could be in the sealed of core inside that they decided to do. So it's still about that. But now they're also talking about teleporting between a black hole and a white hole with a 22 minutes like jump. Which makes me question things, but I'll bring up those questions another time. I also think my theory about the hourglass held up. Proud of that. Look at you go. Hmm. Yeah. And we managed to teleport to where the black hole forge is. On top of that. Hmm. Okay. We go to the high energy lab. That was awesome. Excuse me. <clears throat> to my successfully successfully reproduced the temporary anomaly first observed at the White Hole Station. Warped objects appear to arrive before they apart, depart. 
appears to arrive or are duplicate or actually do arrive or hmm Dunamai discovered that they could increase the negative time interval between arriving and departing departure by adding energy to the warp core. Dunamai wanted to know if a 22 minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy as well as an advanced warp core to handle those energies. Ash Twin was uh, proposed as a location for the project. Yeah. Hmm. The signs for each of the towers on the Ash Twin equator. Each tower warps to a different planet, although many Numai were quick to note that the sun is not actually a planet. What? Wait, what? Huh? So we can teleport to the sun? Hold up. <laughs> so... Is it really... Is it really the sun exploding or is it a black hole? Inside the sun? And that's what's eating us? Each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination. The towers allowed the Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all the other locations crucial to the Ash Twin project. So, did they figure out how to get the energy directly from inside the sun? Are... Are we caught in their project? Namai plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 negative time interval on Ash Twin. Dude. The Namai crafted warp cores at the Black Hole Forge before delivering it to Ash Twin. Yeah. Still more to discover, yeah, for sure. Um, the White Hole Station was used as a model for three towers which were built on the for the Ash Twin project. So the more I teleport, the more negative uh, time I have. Yeah, yeah. So today we fixed the anglerfish. I feel really good about just having that just crossed off. That is awesome. And then we also... What did more did we do? <clears throat> we discovered about the, the stones, about the the caves and lake bed cave and how we teleported between that. That's really good. And we didn't do much here at all. Still have to visit the Southern Observatory and inside the seed, yeah. Yeah. So hmm. So I feel like we have a lot to do. Obviously, but like just straight ahead right now. So we need to go to Brittle Hollow again. And we need to to raise the black hole forge. Then we need to go to Ash Twin and teleport into it. Cause I landed at the teleport that I was looking at up in the ceiling. I thought that was just shining through the ground. But it's not. It's That's the destination. That's how we get there. That's how we get there! Freaking finally figured that one out. That really annoyed me from last time. Okay, but so we can get there. And then we get some more information that it will be unlimited time though. So from this... Ash Twin, we can go there, and I'm wondering if we can also go into the sun. Where they probably had some project of harnessing the energy from inside. And maybe that's the sun station flying around. Dude, I have... This is... Oh, this is... Um, it tickles me! I can't put any other words on it. I am I am just hooey. You know? Damn. And oh yes, we still have to go to the interloper to check that out on the sun side of the interloper. There was a little uh opening. Oh yeah, we climbed through the caves. That was really cool. That was really cool, you guys have to agree. And this sun station, we don't know much about that. And we can't even mark the sun, so I didn't even think... Maybe it is the sun station we're teleporting into, huh? Not into the sun. 
maybe I'm just on some weird ass theories. But then let's try to find some other of those quantum stones that might end up in a dark enough place for us to teleport with it. That'd be cool. Maybe we should check out the grove at Timber Hearth again. But I think I think we did everything there. Yeah. Hmm. We didn't go to the Southern Observatory. We didn't go to the, the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. We went in... Where did I go? I went somewhere and there was those walking stones in the ceiling. I didn't even look at those. Oh my god, there's so much left to do. But I have to stop. I've been going for two hours. Uh, if I exclude the time that this that dude went came to visit, maybe it'll be a little bit shorter. But I, I'm guessing this episode is going to be at least like one and a half, maybe. <laughs> Spot the tree, walk towards it, enjoy. Oh, yes, sniff it. Um, I am as good as outros as I am on intros. So you know what? 